It'd be hard to imagine, though, three months into the NBA season, this is the first meeting tonight between the Lakers and the Warriors, first since LeBron eliminated Steph in last year's playoffs. Both teams, Max, clearly, I'll say this nicely, have taken a step back. A step back to a leap forward. We travel to the Bay. That's where LeBron and AD will try to break their four-game slump on the road. They have six straight away from L.A. LeBron and Steph Curry come in 10 of 10 all-time head-to-head matchups in the regular season. There's the sprint. Let's get it going. Lakers sit in the bottom half of the play-in tournament. James putting the team on his back, though. He had 12 dimes. And the Lakers, look at this wonderful pass. Wow, on the money, on <laughs> Incredible dime. angles. 22 fast break points in the first half. They're most in the first half of the season. LeBron getting to a spot mid-range. Got it. A fadeaway over Curry. Took 25 shots, his most in over a month. Third quarter. Yeah, and it was early. Curry getting to that corner. Oh, he was 17 of 35 from the floor. Golden State down one. Clay has had an inconsistent first half of the season. Gets that three to go. They began the third quarter on a 24 to 5 run. Starting to see the Warriors of old. Can they keep it up? Into the fourth. Lakers down two. Russell, the right wing three. He got that one to go. Lakers up one. 20 seconds left. Warriors down three. There's Curry inside. Lack of resistance there. So after Anthony Davis makes one of two free throws, 12 seconds left. Curry dribbling around and gives Davis a pump. Oh, God. Wow. wow. Indeed. What a move from Wardell to fake out one of the best defenders in the world. And we're going to overtime. Now, this is the first ever overtime game in the regular season between LeBron and Curry. 11 seconds left. Draymond to Thompson. Yes. A great pump fake from Thompson to get Reeves off the ground. He goes flying, and we're tied at 130. You think the Warriors remember that playoff exit in L.A.? Well, James had a chance with five seconds left. No good. We're going to double overtime. A minute and a half to play. Golden State down one. Curry getting into his bag, and you're not stopping that from 25 oh, wow. feet away. <laughs> 22 lead changes in this one. An incredible shot from Curry. Can't defend that. You cannot. He's the best in the world. Now, Pajemski misses the three. Russell leaks out. Can he hit the three in transition? He does. The Lakers are up one. So we got seven seconds left. Warriors down two. Curry gets it on the inbounds. Vanderbilt falls down. He's wide open. Forget about it with nothing but time and space to shoot. And then you gotta leave the form up because he's Steph Curry. 4.7 to play. James driving inside through contact. He's fouled by Green going to the line for two with 1.2 to play on the first. Able to sink it. We're tied at 144. How about the second free throw? He's called. He hits it. Lakers up one. Final chance for the Warriors. The he from Curry. No good. He had 46. James had a triple double, 36, 20 rebounds. The Lakers win in double overtime. Curry, I hate this jersey. LeBron with Lisa Salters. This is the first time in the regular season of all the times you've gone up against each other, first time it's ever gone to overtime right. and a double overtime. Right. Just how does matching up against another great like that, what kind of motivation does that add? Uh, it's something that you will um, truly take all in when you're done playing and be able to watch with your grandkids, you know, and say that I played against one of the best players to ever play this game. Um, you know, and Steph, after the game, came to me and said, how does it keep getting better? You know, how do we keep getting better? And, you know, I think it's just a true testament to us uh, putting the work in, in the game, being true to the game, and the game just continue to get back to us. Classy. Competition at its finest. He's the best. Classy. Yeah. Steph Curry at 46 in the win. LeBron piled on 36. Now, this is from our friends over at Elias. It's the first time in NBA history that opposing players, both age 35 or older, scored 35 points in a game. Age means nothing. Curry and LeBron have their share of MVPs. So to Embiid and Jokic, the last three MVP winners. Embiid out again, fourth straight year. He's missing the game in Denver. And you better believe the sold out crowd at Ball Arena was gonna let Embiid have it.
where he's at is not playing. And the Sixers could get fined. He wasn't on the injury report, making it even easier for Jokic if Embiid's not going to patrol the lane. Nuggets up eight. Jokic was terrific. Again, floater. Remember, Sixers are in a situation now where Embiid might not be able to win the MVP. This is the 11th game he's missed this season. You don't play in 65, you can't be eligible for these big-time rewards. Paul Reed filling Embiid's gap at 30. Normally, it's Tyrese Maxey when he's stepping up. In the fourth, Embiid stepped up, came out of the locker room, said, say that to my face. And he's like, I'm having fun with this. This is great. As a uh, added reminder, NBA Rivals Week isn't Rivals Week when the two rivals don't play each other, but that's, that's another thing to deal with. Jokic, Nuggets up seven, ball movement, extra pass. He just starts and finishes it as MPJ does it. The last three MVPs, maybe they're saying to each other, I'll see you in June. That way I know Embiid won't be sitting out. I want to try to what I look like.